with a mouth full of fangs, beady black eyes, and a body covered in a slippery slime, this was quite the catch for Mike Powell of Canton. I didn't know how to fight it because this thing was jumping left, right, left, right. Mike was fishing over the weekend when he landed this nearly six pound, 30 inch creature of the Canton Reservoir. This was one freaky fish he had never seen before. Me and my buddy, we didn't even know what it was at first. As it turned out, Mike had caught what's known as a northern snakehead. It is a non-native species of Canton, never mind North America. This fish is from Asia, and it's actually illegal to have here in the U.S. Let's be honest here, I'm out here chasing big bass. To catch that when I'm not looking for it, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. I was wearing one of these things that tells you your heart rate thing was through the roof. There are very few species you can confuse with snakeheads. Todd Richards is from Mass Wildlife. He says based on size, color pattern, fin placement, and head shape, this is a confirmed snakehead. Todd believes it was most likely released into the reservoir after it became too big for someone's fish tank. So they're an injurious species federally, so you can't possess them. Mass Wildlife regulates the possession of fish that can live in our waters, and we don't issue permits for snakeheads. I fished this lake my whole life, and when I saw that, I was like, this doesn't belong here. Prior to Mike's catch, only three other snakeheads have been documented as being caught in Massachusetts waters since 2002. And for wildlife officials, they'd like to keep it that way. The good news is these are all adult fish. We have no evidence of reproduction, which would be a different ballgame. For all of you other anglers out there, if you ever have the chance to hook on to a snakehead, it's recommended that you get it ashore, you kill it, and then give either Mass Wildlife or Environmental Police a call. In Canton, I'm Doug Meehan, WCVB, New Center 5.